Hey guys, happy Monday. Welcome to today's breakfast. If this is your first time ever watching one of my videos, then I want to welcome you. My name is Casey Star Long, and so what I try to do every morning is do a video, and I try to do it within five minutes or less, and I call it today's breakfast because breakfast is supposed to be the most important meal of the day and just think about how nourishing a word can be from the word from really from the mouth of the Lord and so what I try to do every day is just ask God to give me a word to share with the body of Christ to encourage you and so today's word um, from the Lord is learning to live life loved and I got to say that um, this seed was planted about living loved after reading a book called Uninvited by Lisa Tierkirst. Um, Lisa Tierkirst, she's a New York Times bestselling author, and she's also founder of a ministry called Proverbs 31. And um, a couple of years ago, I attended one of her conferences called She Speaks, um, which was really for Christian women that are called to speak and called to write. And I really enjoyed that conference. And um, now, I, me and my husband, we pastor a church here in St. Louis. So I utilize a lot of the things that I learned as far as writing, became an author, and also really speaking and declaring the word of the Lord. But anyway, going back to this book, Uninvited, Alisa uh, Tierkirst, she really shares the about her struggle and pain of uh, really going through a uh, rejection and dealing with the spirit of rejection. And so one of the things she talks about is the importance of us living life loved. And um, she mentions in her book how one of her friends who was an author signed the book to Lisa and it just said live loved. And um, I began to think about, you know, what does it mean to live life loved? And God has just begun to just kind of speak to me um, since reading that passage in the book. And he's just given me revelation. I just want to share it with you. Um, I want to tell you guys that growing up, I had a great grandmother, my paternal grandmother. She was a great cook, always hospitable. But one of the things about going to grandma's house is I knew that I could go to her refrigerator and get whatever I wanted. I didn't have to wait for an invitation, and some of y'all may understand that, that maybe you can go to a friend's house, a mom or dad's house, someone close to you, and you can just walk into the house, go into the refrigerator. I can do that to my mom. You know, I can just, whatever she has to eat, it's mine too. And I know that because I know my mom loves me. I knew my grandmother who since passed. I knew she loved me, so I didn't have to worry about rejection. I didn't have to worry about her saying, what are you doing in my refrigerator? You know, it was just open access. And that's what God desires for us today, to understand that he loves you. He loves you and he is for you. And God wants you to live life loved. God wants you to live um, and he wants you to live life knowing that you are loved. And so I woke up this morning and, you know, I began to just kind of meditate, you know, on that. You know, God, what does that mean to live loved? And God began to speak to me, even your thoughts, you know, that sometimes uh, thoughts of comparison, thoughts of insecurity can come up and, you know, thoughts of anxiety can come up. And God began to just remind me that when those thoughts come up, Casey, you're not living as someone that is loved. That in fact, you're living as someone that is insecure, someone that is fearful. You know, when I would go into my grandmother's refrigerator or go into my mom's refrigerator, I never had the fear that they would yell at me and say, get out. You know, I just was bold. I just, I just, you know, walked into their house because I knew that I was loved. So let me give you an example. So one of the things, I have a goal for 2018. I'm seriously contemplating uh, running a, a marathon or either a half marathon in 2018. So I'll let you in. That's one of my, that's one of my goals that I'm praying about um, for the coming year. And so in order to, to, to run this spring in 2018, what do I need to do? I need to practice. I need to get in shape. I need to develop my lung capacity to be able to run. And as I was just preparing my day of the things that I'm going to do, you know, those thoughts about not going to the gym today began to creep into my mind. And as I began to think about, okay, well, why wouldn't I go to the gym if this is one of my goals? And um, just, fe just fear. Fear of, of not wanting to, to, 
you know, be in pain, fear of being a, thinking that I, you know, wouldn't be able to, to train for a half or a full marathon, just fear. And God began to just, you know, let me know, wait a second, that's not thinking the way a person that is loved thinks. That when you are loved, you know that, wait a second, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. That wait, angels go before me, they encamp around me, they surround me, the Lord is with me. That I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. That's how a person that lives life loved thinks. And so just even scrolling through Facebook and just, you know, just in life, you know, God has just been reprogramming my mind and saying, you know what, I want you to live life loved. And so I really believe that that's just a word that I want to share with you today, that as you go about your day, as you see things, as, as events may unfold in your life, may you live life loved. May you know that God is with you. May you know that you are fearfully and wonderfully made in the image of God. May you understand that you are a treasure by God, that God loves you, that God is with you, that God hasn't forgotten you, that he sees you. If you're at home, staying home with those kids, God sees you. He's put great talents and giftings on the inside of you. And so I just speak that. I just release the word that God has given that may you live life love. May your thoughts line up as someone that you know that you are loved and that you are precious in the sight of God. So that's today's breakfast. Just wanted to share that word to you. I pray that it encourages you and I pray that it blesses you. And I pray that God will just add his greater revelation and anointing on top of this world, uh, on top of this word, and that it will just be nestled and buried in your heart today. All right, you guys be blessed. Bye.